If you're looking for a place to buy or sell your FIFA 23 Ultimate Team coins, check out u4gm.com as a reliable place to do so and use code ELITE, E-L-Y-Y-T, for 5% off at checkout. What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. My name is Sean, a.k.a. Elite, and we have Fantasy Fut coming to the game today in just 6 hours and 35 minutes. From the time I'm recording, we're going to see these cards drop into the game. And these are cards that are definitely going to have an impact on the power curve. It's a promo that we haven't seen before, and I wasn't expecting it. Because to be honest, I thought we were going to have a pretty dull break between Team of the Year and Fut Future Stars until we got to Fut Birthday. But how they are bridging the gap is with these new Fut fantasy cards and there are a ton of cards that if they get the upgrades that are potential to them could be game changers including hero cards which we talked about a couple of those in the last video but now we have even more leaks we have pretty much the whole team leaked for fut fantasy so i'm going to show you guys those here in a minute but one thing i do want to discuss before we hop into all of that is the road to the final investments i told you guys once they started going down that they'd probably go down a little bit further and they have but not by a ton not by an amount that wants to make you panic right at tal this card we got for 210 he rose in price all the way up to, I believe it was somewhere around 290, 295,000 coins, but he has come back down just a little bit, but it seems they're starting to rebound. They're starting to hit their bottom. And if we take a look at Yusuf Atal right now, he's 274,000 coins. If we take a look at his hourly graph, well, we can see that he hit a bottom point. He got all the way down to 248, 250, we'll call it. And Everybody was very, very afraid that these cards were not going to bounce back, but of course they were. They're out of packs, they're dynamic, and not only are they din dynamic, but they're already juiced up a lot. Cards like Atal already have upgrades, and they could end up being very, very good cards. We're not going to see a sort of rise like this all the way up to 297,000 coins from 194,000 coins in just a couple of days and not see this card rebound back up after the initial drop. So it got down to 250. I told you guys at that point, it should be time to buy even more of them. And if we see even a little bit of a dip today at 6 p.m. content due to these new FUT Fantasy cards, guys, this doesn't apply to just Atal. It applies to all of them. Go ahead and buy a couple more RTTFs. These cards, they play on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. All right, so it's not that long of a hold, and they're only going to rise pretty uh, much consistently into it. You might see a little bit of a drop today at 6 p.m. content, but I think after that, we're only seeing these cards go up. Now, let's go ahead and talk about some of these cards that are in the new FUT Fantasy um, Heroes Team 1. So we've got... Janola, Abedi Pele, Captavila, Cordoba, Kuehl, King, Ricken, and Crouch. Those are all cards that are heroes getting into this promo. And as you can see, there's no badge yet for these cards because it wasn't confirmed. It is now. Here are how they are going to get upgrades. As you can see, the base performances for Ginola is going to be for Newcastle United. Abide Pele is going to be for Olympique Marseille. Cap de Vila is going to be for Villarreal's performance over the next six games. Cordoba is going to be Inter Milan. Kuehl will be Leeds United. Uh, Ledley King will be Spurs. Lars Ricken will be Borussia Dortmund. And Peter Crouch will be Liverpool. So we're looking at these stats. We're looking at cards that are going to be really, really good. Um, whether they get an upgrade or not, these cards are already going to be very, very good. And looking at Captavila, who his 88 rated has been between 700 and 800 K, for example, is going to be 90 rated as a base card with a potential of two upgrades for these cards. Now, one thing that you have to understand with these hero cards is that they are not playing anymore. So their individual performance upgrades are not possible, which means that you're relying on these clubs to do well. And if they do very well over the next six games, and one, they obviously win a match, but then they also don't lose any matches over the next six games, they could get a plus two on the card that already looks pretty cracked. And if they play for a club that 
has a decently easy schedule over the next six games or play for a club that is in really good form, like Newcastle, for example. Sure, they've dropped points in the last couple of games, but their season in general, doing pretty well. Um, you look at Borussia Dortmund, who haven't lost a game in 2023 yet. So you've got a couple of cards that, in theory, could get both upgrades. But those aren't the only cards that we're seeing in this promo. Those are the cards that we're going to get as heroes, but we've got a lot of of other cards as well. And we'll get into that SBC in a minute. That's another hero card that we're going to see. Al Jabir. But we've got Fernando as a fantasy foot uh, card. So these are going to be the cards that are also going to be in packs. Uh, but also they are going to be able to get uh, different types of upgrades. And I'll show you guys how those upgrade paths go after we show you all the cards. So we got Fernando, which five stats, um, 78 and above. Not too bad, but not too great. But you have to understand these could get several upgrades. They're dynamic. We haven't seen this many dynamic cards in the game in any FIFA before. So we've got ones to watch. Then we had the Road to the Knockouts. Then we had Path to Glory. Then we had uh, Road to the Final. And now we've also got these FUT Fantasy cards, all dynamic cards in the game. Gabri Vega is not part of the promo, but he is going to be a player of the month card to look out for. If they boost him enough, could be usable, but it doesn't look that great. Um, we've got Ben Rama getting into the promo um, for West Ham there. Five uh, or four stats, 86 and above. Um, not bad. Again, not great. Like kind of kind of mid, to be honest. Uh, Gary, you've got another card that that's good. It's French. We've had a lot of French attackers to choose from. If you've got, um, you know, a French league team, you know, if you've got Lacazette, maybe you replace him for, for Geary. I don't know. Again, it's the, these cards are definitely mid um, unless they get the upgrades. We've got somebody from uh, Montreal here. Uh, Miller, I mean, it's a good card. Like, this card, you cannot deny, is one of the best 85s, at least on defense, one of the best 85-rated cards in the game. How are you going to link it, though? It's tough. Um, then you've got uh, Lariente, another French attacker. Um, a card that looks good. We'll see what positions he can play. Um, but he's also in the Serie A with Sassuolo. And then Trimmel for FC Union Berlin. Um, five stats, 83 and above. Could join the Hullet gang after an upgrade or two. Not bad. Then we've got Indaye, uh, another Senegalese attacker. We've seen a lot of Senegalese attackers this year get upgrades. Of course, we had Mane, we had Diata. Now we've got NDI, uh, 94 pace, 87 dribbling for Mallorca. That's also going to be in packs right there. We've got Angelino as another one, left wing back in Bundesliga for Hoffenheim. 91 pace, 90 dribbling, 85 defense, 85 passing. So it's not the only, Captavilla is not the only uh, Spanish left wing back that we're going to get in this promo. Yeah, Alexander Ijak. This card looks very, very desirable. I think this is going to be a few hundred thousand coins uh, for sure. Uh, if he gets an, an upgrade or two, you're, you're looking at a card that could really, really go up in price. Uh, so I think this Ijak card is one to watch for this promo. We've got Skriniar finally getting his first card uh, upgraded this year. 89 rated, good stats. Um, to be honest, not that much better than the 85 rated we looked at, but much easier to link being from Inter Milan. Um, we already saw Gyuri as the objective. We've got Saliba coming into the promo. Another card, especially with Arsenal. I don't know who their next six games are, but Saliba, French defender, Arsenal, Premier League. Look at these stats. That's going to be a card that's very expensive. We got Fabian coming as foot fantasy for PSG. So the Vatinas, uh, you know, the Renato Sanchez, they have competition now in the midfield for PSG. And he's got five stats, 82 and above already. 79 rated, one upgrade, and he's in the whole club. That's a pretty good card. Deli Alley's back. Um, you know, not the career that he's probably wanted, but uh, at Besiktas here, he's got himself a nice upgrade. Probably not going to be very expensive, though, because it's kind of tough to link unless you have a lot of English players in the squad. And then we've got Llorente, who is on the thumbnail today, and his card is always so good. 89 rated. These are his stats before upgrades. I don't even want to know. If Atletico Madrid and Lorente do very, very well over these next six games, um, we could be in danger with that kind of card. Unreal 
right there, guys. So those are all the leaks that we have so far. Let's go ahead and talk about how these cards get upgraded. We talked about this in the last episode for the heroes, but their campaign launch card, once they come out, already going to be a great card. If the club that they are representing for Ginola, uh, we saw that it is, um, I believe it was Olympique Marseille. So for Ginola, if they do get any wins um, over the next six games, he'll get an upgrade. And then if they avoid getting a defeat, so they go six uh, games unbeaten, whether it's a draw or a win, um, they'll get another upgrade. But since they don't play anymore, they don't get any upgrades for obviously performance-based upgrades like the other cards will. Here's how these cards will get upgraded on campaign launch. They come out uh, already decent cards for some of them, some of them are mid. Then we uh, one win in six games, another upgrade that's the same as the heroes. If they get three appearances in the next six games, they get a plus one upgrade. Anybody who's not injured and has played a decent amount for their club will probably be getting that upgrade. Then in the next six games, if they're an attacker or a midfielder, if they get two goals or assists, then they'll get an upgrade. Now, I would assume that means they could get one goal and one assist, and it would get them the upgrade. Um, but it does say two goals or assists. It doesn't say two goals um, plus assists. We'll see uh, if they count one goal plus one assist, if that even does happen. Uh, and then for defenders, if they get two clean sheets over the next six games, which is very doable, uh, they will get... Uh, another upgrade and I don't know how many minutes they have to play if they're going by like you know fantasy premier league rules where you get you know you play 60 minutes uh, in the match and that counts as a clean sheet if they have to play the game at all will it count as a clean sheet um, I would assume they would have to be in the match but I don't know if they can like come out as a sub you know in the 85th minute and uh, not concede a goal and if they they'll count that as a clean sheet. And then the last one is the exact same, uh, avoid defeat in the next six matches. So overall, they could get plus four and three new traits. Um, a lot of potential for upgrades on these fantasy cards. And to be honest, a couple of those upgrades, not that difficult. Like they're almost guaranteed to get one upgrade just if they play in games. Like, they don't even have to do well in the matches. They just have to play in the matches. And if you look at Fabian, for example, there's not a guarantee that he gets two goals or two assists, and he plays for PSG, so maybe he doesn't get those appearances. But I'd say for the majority of them, they're going to get uh, those um, objectives complete, no problem. Two goals, two, assi uh, two goals or assists uh, in six matches isn't, a terribly difficult feat for a lot of the attackers. I, I would be surprised, um, even though Alexander Ijak is still kind of fighting for that striker spot at Newcastle to see if he doesn't end up getting that. One more thing we need to talk about before the end of this video is the Al Jabir SBC, because this is a little bit more complicated than a lot of people may see uh, for it at face value. It's going to be a hero card coming as an SBC. A lot of people are probably going to do it just because it's unique, and hopefully they don't overprice it. So let's just assume that it's going to be appropriately priced. So people are going to do this SBC. Is this card going to have full chemistry when they go into their squad immediately? And I would say most likely that is going to be the case. That, um, given the fact that they've got the, the hero club badge instead of the club badge that, uh, you know, we would get from Newcastle or whatever, Al Halal would be the club for Al Jabir. That's the club that they're connected to, and that's the club that almost certainly Al Jabir is going to be connected to um, for the upgrades. But they're probably going to have that full chemistry like hero cards do uh, automatically, like we've seen all year. So you're not going to need to go out and get links to Al Jabir to get him to full chemistry, most likely. We'll see if these hero cards change anything, but that is most likely going to be the case. However, it will make it easier to get a certain Saudi Arabian League player into people's clubs, and that man is going to be Cristiano Ronaldo. So Cristiano Ronaldo's second inform, a card that's only 105, 110,000 coins, is probably going to go up a little bit in price. Now, it's still risky, but one other card I want to talk about is Saeed al -Uwaira. And This is the card that you know people are going to be talking about years to come as the card that was super overpowered in FIFA 23. You know, the way we talk about a Barbo from FIFA 14, the way we talk about um, Gervinho, Dumbia from FIFA 15, the way we talk about 
Player of the Month Son from FIFA 17, etc. This is the card that I think a lot of people are going to look at and be like, that is the overpowered card from the year. But there's not a huge reason on why this card would rise in price a ton if Al Jabir already is on full chemistry. Because all you need to do is submit him, uh, place them in the squad and they've, they've got full cam. You don't need to link them. So I think the only cards that really have potential of going up in price would be that Ronaldo inform. So Cristiano Ronaldo's inform, it's a risky investment, but I think that there is uh, a lot of upside to it. If Al Jabir is a really affordable SBC, people will do it just so that they can link it to Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, and uh, it looks like Cristiano Ronaldo has risen in price a little bit already. He's up to 116,000 coins at uh, his lowest price right now, which really isn't that bad. He's actually gone down a little bit since he's been in packs. So it's actually not that risky, but you also have to consider you're probably not the only person who has invested in Cristiano Ronaldo. And if this Al Jabir SBC is too expensive or it doesn't come out uh, today, you're going to see a little bit of a drop today at 6 p.m. UK uh, time from just investors selling off those Cristiano Ronaldo. So that's something to think about. But we'll see. It'll be, it'll be an actually pretty fun promo. Uh, I'm actually pretty excited for it. I was not expecting EA to come out with something uh, this big uh, during this kind of dead period of Ultimate Team. But I think it's important because I think a lot of people, including myself, we lose interest uh, in Ultimate Team and in FIFA in general during this time. And there becomes just this dead period between, um, you know, Team of the Year and then FUT, Birthday, and then TOTS. You're kind of you're waiting for Team of the Season to roll around. And uh, to be honest, I'm so excited for this promo that I'm actually going to save my packs for tomorrow. So I'm not going to open them to end today's video. But that is going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy FUT Fantasy as it comes out. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will see you guys in the next one. But hey, hold on. Before we leave, uh, we're going to leave a secret comment word of the day. Because we haven't done that in the last couple of uh, videos. The secret comment word of the day peanuts. Go ahead and comment that down below and I'll make sure to leave a heart on your comment. See you in the next one. Peace out.